I've been asked to take a look at this Kenwood. It's a food chopper, CH18B. When you run it, or try to run it, it screams and the blade doesn't go round. I'm not going to ex demonstrate it now because uh, I'm not sure it's doing any good. So let's uh, open it up and see if we can find out what the problem is. Now I've established that the screws are in here and you have to take these feet off. Uh, there's a depression here which gives you the impression uh, that uh, there's a screw under there but it isn't. There's two, two here and one there. Well, first off, let's, we can see that we've got a motor shaft down here, a couple of rejection gears, and then the driving going on to this shaft up here. X2 capacitor with a bleed resistor so you don't get a shock off the pins and uh, feed down to the motor. This piece here goes in under there and operates the safety mechanism. It means you can't operate the machine unless the lid's on. Just a safety feature. Now, I'm quite surprised because there are three axles Plenty of grease up here, and less so here, and well, none in there. And looking at this, I would say that screaming is being be because this gear has been rubbing. In fact, you can see bits of plastic. On here, that surface is quite rough. It's almost as if this gear down here is too close to there, to, to that hole there. It's not very good. I wonder if it's slipped on its shaft. Oh, actually, yeah, I did just slide down a little bit. In fact, now I can see there are splines on this shaft. Now, it was screaming and the blade wasn't turning before. So I wonder whether that's that this gear was jammed against this plastic housing I mean there's no no bearing there, there's some I think are these just, these are just holes in the plastic I think there's no actual bearing for the ends of these it's pretty shoddy really um yeah so I'm looking at the wear on here I would say this has slipped down the shaft um and the screaming sound was probably this rotating and and the gear wheel are not rotating, which is not very good. So um, if it, I don't know if it's ever going to work again, because if you can apply a small amount of force here and stop this wheel from turning, 
that shaft is just going to go round and uh, continue to strip even if I do get it um, well now I've moved it down it's clear of the plastic just wonder whether the application of grease and possibly a washer to, to keep this toothed area away from the plastic housing let's see what we've got in terms of washers that I can pop in there one moment please let's see what we've got I was thinking some sort of uh, wafer washer. These look so the shaft diameter is going to be a bit small. something off this that's the uh, peg off a washing machine shock absorber bracket but got these Let's see what they are But there is actually a, a step between the teeth and the centre of the gear wheel. I wonder whether this will fit. Yeah, I don't know. The uh, plastic. Oh, actually, no, no. I might actually do the job just enough to space the gear wheel away from the housing. In fact the housing, you probably can't see it, but there's, there is actually a recess here. Let's see whether that fits in that recess. Mm, no it doesn't. Well, I, th I think I'm going to try this on here with some of this surplus grease they've got kicking about in here because at the moment it doesn't work and it was just grinding itself to death. See whether it goes back together and whether the addition of that washer has um, 
made it not fit. Well, I didn't have to apply any pressure. It was a little bit to overcome moving this lead. But that gap, I'd say, is the same all the way along. So I don't think putting the extra bit of plastic in here, well, well I moved the gear wheel down anyway, um, but it will at least stop the gears from binding against the plastic. Well, let's uh, stick it all back together and see whether I've solved the problem. It could be that the damage to the internal diameter of the gear wheel on the motor is so great that uh, the splines won't grip the switch that switches it on. I don't yeah, if you press that button you can't take the lid off so again that's part of the interlock. It's pretty screamy anyway, but we know it's not made to a particularly high standard. But is it, it is at least turning now. Whether it's got sufficient power to actually cut anything, I don't know. Let's take another look inside, see what the situation is now. Well, the washer is sat on here. Hmm. Difficult to say. It is at least working now. How effective it will be, I don't know. I suppose until the washer I've put in completely disintegrates it is at least going to keep the gear teeth away from the plastic housing.
Looks like a job done then. Cheerio.